day, Beth. Today we are going to make some shortbread and we're gonna be using the singleton because Scottish shortbread, scotch, all works. So yeah, we have all the ingredients here that we are going to be putting in here. I'm very make excited. the magic happen. Make okay. the magic happen. So we've already pre-portioned things out to make it super yeah. easy and seamless. My first question though is that how many whiskey cookies are we making? Um, I guess we'll see. Uh, my, maybe about a dozen to two. This recipe is stellar, so. I've had these actually. Mm -hmm. I had these um, in my world class gift pack and they were so, so tasty. Yes. So they... very excited to make them. I'm not going to say like crack because crack is not okay. No. But these cookies are, are great. Oh, and yeah. I think the question that a lot of people ask when you're baking with alcohol is are these going to get you drunk? No, and I mean, that's the number one question I get as well. Now, when you're baking, the alcohol is going to bake off. Mm -hmm. So you're going to lose the alcoholic content and then you're left with all the flavors. So if you think of Scotch whiskey, oftentimes we use American oak barrels. That's going to give a lot of deep, rich vanilla notes. They use sherry casks as well. So really, those sweet vanilla notes would go into anything. Really. That makes a lot of sense. All right, shall we get baking? We shall. So what we are going to do first is we have cubed the butter and you don't want to put hard butter into a mixer. So we've um, made it less hard by cubing it. We're going to secure the bowl on here. You want to dump that in here. Well done. It's Thank like, you. It's like you're the baker. <laughs> um, now we're going to put some white sugar in, roughly a cup-ish. Uh, we are now going to add the whiskey. Yay, my favorite part. This is the favorite part. Now what you want to do is you want to add it nice and slowly and you want to make sure that that butter sugar combo becomes one with the whiskey. Okay, great. Right? That's everybody, three become one instead of the spice roll. I was gonna say, they should have they should have written that song. So we're gonna add it and we are gonna mix it slowly and the magic's gonna happen. So now if you look in, it's all mixed up. That Everything sounds great, bad. Right? This is just butter, sugar, and whiskey we needed to become a cookie. So we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients. Hit me, what we got? Okay, so first you're gonna add the flour. Throw it in. And then we are going to turn it on. Mix it on, there we go. Add some mixers on, you just wanna slowly add the rest of it. And for those of you that can't see, it's really just mixing. It's mixing. Now we wanna add the salt mm -hmm. and the baking powder as in there. And we have a little secret ingredient, which I can't really hold. Great. I think I can be trusted to do this one. So yes, it's just goes. little. Yep, you can do it all at once. Too. Wait. Perfect. And we are going to turn that on and mix that. Up. The whiskey has become one with the butter and the sugar, and we are good to go. Next up, it is now dough. We've we've made a shortbread dough. Way to go! I'm making the dough. Okay. So now we are going to add these three elements. First, we have score toffee bits. Mm. Uh, we're gonna want to go to half a cup of that. Okay, help me. Mixer. I need this. Oh, it's okay. I got it. I got it. Help is at hand. There you go. <laughs> the, the thing is, though, unfortunately, in life, I am chaos. Yeah, so, same. Um, how have you I managed to friends. form a? Look at me. It's everywhere. How have you managed to form a business if you're chaos? Well, um, I multitask a lot. <laughs> okay, we're going. Okay, we're there going. we go. We're gonna mix that. Okay, you're gonna add the about the same amount of the chocolate chip. In this particular mixture, we put semi-sweet and milk chocolate because that's what I like to do. And it's, it's my world, really. <laughs> chaos, chaos, chaos. Now, you want to add some white chocolate as well. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe we've got a half a cup of that. <laughs> You're doing so well. Thank you. This is why like, I'm yeah. not allowed my own TV cooking segment because this would happen. That's totally fine. A mess is almost guaranteed when I'm around. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to mix this all together. Now this is a really great dough. I can tell right now it's perfect consistency. It's not sticking to the paddle, so it's going to be really easy cleanup as well. So we're just going to move on to our next part. Oh, so, here she goes. Yeah, there you go. Okay, we've made dough and now we are going to want to chill said dough. Mm -hmm. So it's all mixed up in here. We're going to place it in from here. We're going to make a dough log. Oh, yes. Okay. So we're going to put our dough onto our cling film, as you would call it. We call it saran wrap. Oh, do you not call it that? No. Cling film. Yeah, I feel like I've asked for it in Dollarama before and people have been like, what is what, what is this? Okay, so you get it into a basic log form. Mm -hmm. You put the saran wrap over like this, and then you just basically roll it. So it's kind of like a uniform shape. You don't have to be precious about this. Like it's, it's really up to you how perfect 
you want. But okay. I'm never that fussed. So then you tie these off. You have your little lock and you pop it in the freezer. You want to freeze it for at least an hour because you want this to become like solid. Okay. Okay. Now, get your hands in there. Grab that dough. You want to take all of the rest of the dough. Grab so. that dough. There you go. There's some even less over for me to eat afterwards in the There bowl. you go. That's okay, so everybody like, wants any like shape like this. So yeah, put that down, make yep. a, a basic, you got it. Now you want to wrap this part over here. Mm -hmm. Now, same on the other side. And roll that into mm, a buttery one. dream. There, yes, it really is. You want it to be the same kind of thickness all the way down. There okay, you. okay, okay. Roughly, roughly. Roughly, yep. Yeah. And then at the ends, if you want them to be more uniform with it, yeah. you just have to pick this up and go, oh, learning is earning. There you go. Okay, uh, great. Okay, so we, we've got our logo dough. Let's pop those in the freezer. Let's. At this stage, if you you can roll it in sugar if you want, if you, that will give it some nice crispy edges because we have a lot of sugar going on here with the chocolate, the toffee, mm -hmm. etc. Um, you're just gonna cut it. So okay. how you want to cut it is probably about two centimeters apart. There's your first one. Okay. Okay. Great. You can make them a little bit smaller. Uh, it's really kind of up to you. These are gonna be really thick. Cookies. I love a thick cookie though, Bear. Okay, well that's uh, good. Because <laughs> that's you're making, what you, you're making that's what you get. <laughs> no, yeah, no, the, the, these are great. And then what you wanna do, you're just gonna pop these. Okay, great. You cut, I will pop them onto the sheet. Uh, and this is why you wanna chill the dough because it makes it really easy to cut. Oops. And then what happens with these little endy boys? You can make those cookies too. You just go like this. What would traditionally make about a dozen cookies is made nine here because okay, okay, okay. they're just nine thick cookies. So you can smell the whiskey too. That yeah. singleton is just popping. There you go. Great. Now we're gonna pop these in the oven. We are at 350 and I just do this usually for about 10 to 12 minutes. Depends on your oven though, but we're gonna go with 10 to 12. In we go. you should put them on a cooling rack but we're we don't have time. this is a beautiful festive plate now uh, you've done a wonderful job congratulations on your first boozy baking cookie making boozy baking cookie making machine again you can still smell that singleton mm. it, even though the alcohol did bake off all of that flavor is going to be in the cookie and if you wanted to gift these you can make them look quite pretty stack them like this yeah Tie yeah, a ribbon going. around. I love that. And then yeah. you just give, then you just give them to a friend. Give them to a friend. <laughs> Maybe put some packaging around it, <laughs> like a bag. But um, but also, I was going to say, in North America, mm -hmm. you leave out cookies for Santa. We sure do. So he might like these. He's going to love them. So I'm thinking, whiskey cookies and a little tot of singleton for Exactly, leave out a dram for him. I've heard he loves the whiskey. So a little bit of singleton, some singleton cookies. Where could you go wrong? I'm very excited. Do okay. the honors. They're not overly hot. They're oh yeah, no, no, they're great. It sounds delicious. <laughs> okay. Mmm. Wow. <laughs> now that wow. is a cookie. That is so good. Mm -hmm. Beth, that's so good. You did it. It's all you. Um, thank you. Perfect amount of sweetness. No, and nice and salty as well. Mm -hmm. Very good. Delicious. Santa's going to be leaving you some extra gifts. Thank you so much, Beth, for teaching me how to make these fabulous cookies. You're very welcome. I uh, Thank you for joining me for uh, our first rendition of Boozy Baking. This could be the other one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.